Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. On this episode, we start Frosted Glacier, the World 4, after accidentally starting World 5. So, our first level, Spinning Star Sky 1-1, one, one, or 4-1 I mean. This level is pretty fun. We've got these spinning stars that make up the mechanic of the level. Um, of course, we have the acorn suit because lots of the coins in this require the acorn suit. So we're just going to keep going. Um, our first star coin is right after this first uh, spin, first set of two spinning stars. Oh, I couldn't make it, but you can just jump from here too, so no big deal. And then of course we have a replacement suit because we're done. Down here. Oh, that was really close. Down here... Oh! Down here we have a hidden area that was way too hard to get to, but it only has coins. Um, our second star coin is pretty close. What we have to do here is glide down from here, and we can get a... Whoa! Ice physics, I tell you, Is hit this pipe, and we get a vine. So we're going to climb the vine. Do 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 and then up here we have some stars that we can walk over and then up here is this if we don't uh, want to do that we can also jump off this star coin here and glide over here we still need the acorn suit to do this but then you can just jump up here you could also use Yoshi if you had him but you wouldn't have Yoshi at this point anyway so that's the point after this or not this final set of uh, spinning stars after this set of spinning stars right here Okay, I, maybe I just don't know the layout of this level as well as I did, thought I did. I have all this prepared beforehand, you know, but, you know, sometimes you just you just can't, I tell you. You just can't. Anyway, over here we see some coins down there. What we have to do is glide... Oh my goodness. What we have to do is glide all the way down, and up here there's a star that we can get. This is the method to do it if you don't have the acorn suit, but if you do, then, well, you can just grab the star and run across. Otherwise, you can just jump off that star, come down here, take one hit, and then get the star coin. And it's no big deal either way. So you can either use the acorn suit and do it without taking damage, or you can use the acorn, or not use the acorn suit, just take one hit, and it, it's fine either way. I don't mind myself, but, you know, gotta do it the way the level prescribes, right? Okay, so we're going to come up here and grab Blue Yoshi, just because Blue Yoshi is really good. I don't think I've shown Blue Yoshi yet. Uh, I might have, but if I haven't, this will be a good time to do it here. Blue Yoshi has the ability to blow bubbles like this. Um, you can actually jump off these bubbles to get a little bit of an extra distance. It's not too much, but the big thing about Blue Yoshi is that enemies who get caught in their bubbles turn into coins or occasionally one-ups. So if you just run along and you're just going blah 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 blah, he'll eat enemies that pass by his bubbles and hit him. And every enemy that doesn't, well, they'll just get caught in the bubbles and then they'll turn into coins. So it's like Blue Yoshi is probably the most broken Yoshi of them all. I mean, look at that. I just collected two one-ups in this level just from eating these guys, so it's like, like seriously. Um, you might be thinking, why are you just running through the level? I thought you were collecting all the star coins, but we actually haven't come across our next star coin yet. It is coming pretty soon. Or maybe I did accidentally pass by. No, it's up here. Yeah, basically what we do is just jump up here, eat that, and then we have to say goodbye to Yoshi for just a second and grab this second star coin up here. You don't need the acorn suit to get this one, because you can just do a wall kick off the wall and hit the top, but it's it's there if you need it. And we're just going to go ahead and fire some more bubbles. And of course I got hit there because I was running through the level too fast. Not that that really ever stopped me before, but... Okay, that was a mistake, because I have to use... I have to use um, the penguins to get up there. Oh, there we go. And then we just kind of navigate our way from block to block to grab that. And then, of course, that's the last thing you do in this... Ugh. Okay, I'm just going to toss Yoshi. Because I can't grab the top of the... I can't... Can't grab... I can't... Okay, just 
Go away, Yoshi. You go over there. I'll meet you. I'll meet you on the other side of the flagpole. Okay, here we go. Twist jump. There we go. Triple jump, and we're done. And of course, Yoshi's just patiently waiting for me because what else do I pay him for? I actually don't pay him for anything. So there. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty then. This next game I'm going to actually show you guys on purpose. It's the penguin game, and I'm going to show you it on purpose because, well, we have... Either we can just chuck fire flowers like this, or we can just eat them with Yoshi. We only get a star from it because that's just the way these games work, so... I'm just going to go ahead and accept the star. Though I can't because I can't hold any more items. So, I'm going to choose to discard it. Uh, discarding items does take a lot of time, so I'm just going to use use a bunch of items. Go ahead and use... Well, I guess I can't. Well, that's fine then. Let's just go into Freezing Rain Tower. One, or four castle. I mean, four fortress. Of course, we can't take Yoshi into the uh, castles, but what else is new? This castle is pretty difficult in that um, you have a bunch of like icicles constantly falling on you. In this level I always try and run too fast and I end up uh, I end up biting it a little bit, but you know what else can you do? Uh, you can bait these uh, icicles to fall on top of the uh, the dry bones here, but it's not really recommend it's not required that you do that because well like you know why bother? So over here, jump up on there, and we can go up here. You can see where the icicles are going to fall because they drop little water droplets um, where they, they are. So it's not too bad. Uh, we're going to run up here, and then we're going to quickly run to the other side because we got a icicle. And then quickly run over to the other side just so we don't get stomped by the other icicles. Grab the checkpoint, and we're going to keep going. Now this is where the section starts to become an auto-scroller. Uh, it's not really an auto scroller, but I mean, like you have uh, you have a oops, didn't mean to do that. I wouldn't say an auto scroller, but you have a platform that rises, and you have to just kind of follow it. If you have the acorn suit, you can actually get above the platform because you can just like float up there, and then you can just do a series of wall kicks to get above, which is what we have to do here. We don't have to do these wall kicks, but it's just a fast way to get that star coin without having to race the platform. The first time I played through this game, this next star coin that I'm about to show you guys took me literally forever to find out how to obtain because I was just stupid. Um, what you have to do is just jump up here and there's a secret area. Like, I actually never knew that. I knew it had to be somewhere around this area, but I never thought of jumping against that wall. So I took a power P into this level, so I could constantly have that, you know, forever flying motion. And, um... And then I... I was fine. So here, just do this. Kill all those guys. Get a 1-up from it, it sounded like. Um, there's a bunch of hidden blocks over here to get certain items, but like fire flower, ice flower, but we don't need them, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep the ice flower for the next level, just because that's just the way I roll. So here we have our fortress um, boss, this guy again. He's no, no harder to beat in this level. Well, maybe a little, because there's ice physics, but he can't really do anything. Before he uses his attack, we're just going to do that, and then we're just going to re-jump on him. Same as always. See? No big deal. And we've cleared the fortress. I think I have time to show you guys one more level. So, save, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly do uh, Frosted Glacier 3, I think. Because, well, yeah. Um, this level is pretty easy, but it can be a little bit challenging sometimes. We have these um, Goombas that are covered with these um, 
spikes, and they can only be broken by fire, as you see. Like, I tried to, uh, I tried to chuck a uh, Yoshi at them, but it really didn't do anything. You can also pick them up and throw them with the ice flower, but it's, it's preferable to have the fire flower in this level, just because then you can actually break these guys yourself, instead of having to rely on, um, the piranha plants to shoot them. And actually, it's required to break at least one of them. Well, you don't have to break this one to get this coin, you can just kind of take the hit and jump up. But if you have the fire flower, then you can just sort of jump up and kill all of these guys, and there you have it. In here is our first star coin, and there aren't any platforms to jump up and get it, so you might be thinking, what? But we have these three platforms here I just made, so go ahead and jump on that. And we got platforms on the other side too, so just to make it symmetrical. It's probably easier to program that way, so you only have to design half a room. I don't under understand how coding works, but I'm sure it's something like that. If we take the slide down here, we got a little thing here where we can get Yoshi, because Yoshi is not required for the next two star coins, but it's good to have them. Do a flutter jump up to this pipe. You can use the acorn flower too, but you need one of the two, and since the acorn flower isn't in this level, using the Yoshi provided is recommended. Let me go down here. Um, our next coin is pretty well on the path of the level. We don't have to worry about having to find it. It's right here. We can just use a flutter jump, or if you don't have Yoshi at this point, you can also just make the jump over from this side. So it's pretty, pretty easy. The rest of the level is pretty straightforward, just kind of run through, don't get hit by the fire f throwing hammer bros. And then of course we can just do our flutter jump up here real quick, and grab the top of the flagpole. And there we have it. Bye, Yoshi. Well, that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. I think we covered quite a lot in this episode. Uh, what we have here is a puzzle, and I want that acorn flower, but I don't want the penguin, so I'm just going to go up and snag it. <laughs> Sucker. So on the next episode, we're going to be doing Frosty Glacier 4, scaling the mountainside, and we'll have some fun with that. So see you guys next time.